the only thing you can send to your future is your prayer it can go and wait for you your prayer can become your protocol it waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow it checks that tomorrow is ready for you and it if if it finds anything your to the holy spirit is the wisdom of god the holy spirit is not an archangel the holy spirit is not an anointing no the holy spirit has a physical form a real form he conceals his form because of his ministry on earth to glorify and testify of jesus the holy spirit is not a shapeless wing he has a real form your intimacy can warrant his revealing his form to you he has a form can be seen please hear me the only way i can teach you about the ministry of the holy spirit is to borrow a thing to do with a man and a woman a man and a woman were only two people brought together to act it out so that men can understand marriage is a reality that existed long in the realm of the spirit is god's system of partnership he coined a word and introduced man into it that's why paul began to speak and this is what he says wife let me use somebody as a wife now anybody come make sure you are not married though so nobody thinks i'm carrying the wife listen carefully husbands paul is sharing roles now by the spirit please listen i want you to understand the holy spirit and we we'll pray he says husbands do what help me please love your wives based on a standard what is the standard as christ not how you want the moment you love your wife how you want you are already against god's will you cannot love your wife the way you want there is a standard that has nothing to do with your will your only will is to not marry but if you will marry you must subscribe to that standard are we together and then he says as christ loved the church so you have to study how christ loved the church number one while we were yet sinners unqualifying and undeserving in due season he died for us number two till today he still makes intercession for us before the father this is how he loved us number three he didn't only die for us he covered us so all of these things are your roles to your wife he gave us his name and with that name there are possibilities that would not have happened but he brought us into that name the name is not a pronunciation the name is an office the name is not j-e-s-u-s that's why you called it and nothing happened the name is an office it's, it's a language of governance it's a name and the name is not jesus the name is lord lord is the office that jesus entered at his resurrection not the name the earth is the the lord said to my that was the coronation we are bible people now watch this so he tells your own role and he says i speak of christ and the church so the holy spirit has come and as extension an extension of the ministry of christ then he comes to the woman who is the bride of christ the church you and me this is her responsibility wives submit come under the governing authority of your husband in all things you are given a will but hand it back over as though a fool trusting the responsibility of your husband to prove that you are not foolish the submission of a woman only looks fruitful when the man can love if the man cannot love her submission turns her to a fool submission is only useful if you trust the love of the man so watch this the holy spirit john 15 right i will send you another comforter right and then when he comes this and that will happen he will be with you and walk with you many people know the holy spirit in them i introduce to you the holy spirit with you don't claim you know it very easily this is the secret of ministry it's not the holy spirit in you it's the holy spirit you cannot relate to what is in you you can relate to what is this is partnership the woman was in the man but there was no fellowship she had to be brought out of the man from in him to with him that's what made marriage possible you can't relate to a wife in you 
when God was blessing man there was no need for fellowship so the woman was in the man when the blessing was spoken but when it had to do with relationship listen carefully we're rounding up now watch this this is my wife we stand and we're married watch this it's not only that she carries this and that and that if she comes for a meeting like this and says on behalf of my husband I pledge 10 million even if we did not discuss it she has implicated me because she's my wife and if she truly is my wife it's none of your business I should give you your 10 million and we'll go and tear ourselves at home and mend ourselves back correct so every time she moves she is an image of a reality the only difference is that I can be seen listen carefully so now assuming I am invisible is she alone so when she comes watch this lift your hands darling she lifts her hands you are only seeing the hands of one person but my charisma, my integrity covenanted through marriage is with her you want to beat her I am standing but I'm still real so you are so close to her but you cannot touch her what is immune in you marriage 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 you see her with an ATM that does not have her name yet she has access to it with so much authority she slots it in and it brings money yet it is never in her name the day you see it in her name is a sign she's not ready to be a wife listen pastors are you a wife every man must first be a wife in the spirit to be a good husband you must know what it means to be a wife look at me let me submit to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ everything you have heard and seen in my life and our ministry that is noteworthy is simply a product of being a good wife I have mastered being a good wife to a husband that though invisible is real so everywhere I come I don't come alone when you clap for me I am wise enough like a wise woman should and say look I'm not here alone my husband when you come to a house and they cook very nice meal after you eat and wash your hand you say Kai madam you are really nice and then a wise woman say I appreciate my husband though when they see you and say madam you are so fresh since your marriage but the greatest part of marriage is what I want to introduce to you now we're rounding up listen there is something in marriage called intimacy listen carefully intimacy is a system of culmination of marriage where a man meets with his wife now when the man meets his wife listen to me carefully something begins to happen to her not him her all of a sudden her physiology begins to alter as a testimony her appetite even outside of her own volition all of a sudden she wants to eat rice that has the smell of smoke and you are like you as neat as you are something there is pregnancy listen carefully so you start suspecting you were not like this before what happened and you say have you forgotten that i'm married oh you are married that's true are we together Give us 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 5 and 6. While I continue talking. 1 Samuel 10, 5 and 6. Everybody listen. This woman gets, and then at a point, you find out that her physiology is so altered. And then, watch this. After nine months, like Zion, she travels and goes to the hospital. Now watch this. And then she gives birth to an entity that is both husband and wife that entity every time you see that child you know that that child is half husband for as long as the child is when you see the child he looks like his father but i can see his mother that child is the wheelchairs when they see they say i saw your hand but i saw another thing in that miracle that is not you supernatural speed yes i saw you signing the contract but what happened after i don't know i 
saw that you were supposed to have an accident but 20 years later you are still moving very happily as if the devil does not exist brothers and sisters this is what happens those who are not married in the realm of the spirit are vulnerable in the physical is all right but in the realm of the spirit pastors go to church with him don't invite him when you get to church go to church with him do business with him raise children with him write exams with him don't just carry his cloth on you when you walk with him he does something to you read this